Good afternoon, everybody. I am very, very happy to welcome uh, Foreign Minister Mamanyarov from Azerbaijan and uh, very, very pleased to spend some time with him today. I've had occasion to talk to President Aliyev several times uh, in the last months, and we've talked about a number of different issues. But Azerbaijan, uh, we were just talking together, is a, is a wonderful statement about the ability of different religions, different sects to come together and live together and to find a way forward. And the foreign minister just spoke to the American Jewish Committee uh, here in Washington and received a standing ovation when he talked about uh, the commitment to anti-Semitism and the commitment to diversity and pluralism. So we're particularly grateful to welcome uh, uh, the foreign minister here. Azerbaijan has been an important partner in uh, Afghanistan, in ISAF. Uh, and equally important with respect to the northern distribution route, but also the southern gas line and other issues that are of great importance to us. We've also talked, I've had occasion to talk with the President about uh, uh, Nagorno-Karabakh. Uh, and this is a frozen conflict, as we call it, one that threatens the stability of the region and one that we need to deal with. As co-chair of the Minsk Group, we have a serious interest, the United States, in helping uh, Azerbaijan and Armenia to be able to find a path forward. The last thing we want is a return to war and to conflict. I believe there is a path forward, and we will continue to work quietly and patiently in an effort to try to encourage the parties to be able to uh, take either confidence-building measures that may get you further down the road, or to find a way towards uh, a settlement with respect to this issue. Both have been close before, uh, and at the last minute things have happened that have uh, denied everybody that opportunity. So we have a big interest in that. We also have an interest in seeing Azerbaijan continue to walk down this road, march down the road towards greater democracy, uh, to help build the pluralism of the country, and ultimately to be able to find a way for peace and stability in the region and with its neighbors. So we are going to work on that, and we're going to have a good discussion in a few moments about a number of these issues. But Mr. Foreign Minister, I'm glad to have you here. Thank you for your efforts, and we appreciate uh, the effort to try to walk down this road together. Thank you very much, Mr. <coughs> Secretary. Just a few words. It's very difficult to add uh, something to what's so skillfully articulated by Mr. Secretary for our discussion, for our agenda. But one thing is extremely important. We consider Azerbaijan as a uh, partner, even strategic partner, taking into consideration what Mr. Secretary said about the agenda of our cooperation with the United States. And uh, all of the issue which uh, was indicated is definitely of the strategic uh, nature. Uh, of course, Azerbaijan is uh, far from the United States, but we still believe that to all these challenges uh, which we're facing uh, together with the United States, we will successfully move forward including on the one of the biggest problems with the conflict resolution with the neighboring Armenia, with whom we're definitely and desperately interested to live in peace, with dignity, with, uh, that there will be all the negative outcome of the conflict will be in the past, and uh, we will look uh, to the bright future of successful cooperation and living uh, next to each other with a good neighborhood. Good. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to discuss we're, this issue, gonna, particular on this detail. Okay? We are working on that. Uh, we're co-chairs of the Minsk Group. We have uh, thoughts about how we can proceed down that road carefully and thoughtfully. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.